I'm Jane Isaacs Lowe, and I'm a senior program advisor at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Bill Thomas came to the foundation to talk about this idea of creating a different way of providing long-term care for frail elders, moving away from an institutional model into small houses. That was the beginning ideas of what became the Greenhouse Project. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. What this represented for us was a game changer. Could you actually care for frail older adults in a home-like setting? Would they have the same quality of care? Would it be better than, than it was in the institutional setting? So our intent was never to convert every nursing home to a greenhouse but to use this model as a catalyst for significant social change. Well, that's as good as it was before. Oh, you wanted a better hand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I always swore that I would never put my, my family, my parents in nursing homes, unless if it absolutely came to it. But when I found out about the houses, I said, I would be okay with this. We have more time to sit and spend time with our elders and talk to them and joke with them and just be with them in whatever capacity they need us to be there. It's like I have 10 extra grandmothers and I absolutely love it. Okay, bye. Bye, Mom, I love you. Okay, I love you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Other nursing homes are depressing. Coming here, it's not a depressing feeling. She's comfortable here. She, they make, they, it seems like they, this kind of atmosphere makes me very comfortable. So when we're looking for something that we want to possibly explore whether it will scale, we need to have a prototype. We need to work with that prototype to see how it can be changed or adapted. We need to have a business model and a business plan so we know how it can grow and develop. And we need to have evaluation, serious evaluation that demonstrates that it's effective. What we look for is those ideas that are going to transform a field, that create the impetus for significant change. We fully expect that there will be adaptations to that model and there will be other great ideas that will come along that will build on that work. But it's really about major significant change in how we think about and care for frail older adults. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs>